Wendy. She would like to sing a song. Let's give her a clap of Please, if you know how to sing, sing with me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Bread of life, sent down from glory. Many things you were on earth, a holy king, a capital. You are the living bread. Bread of heaven. Send down from glory many things you were on earth, a holy king, a capital. You are the living bread, awesome ruler, gentle redeemer. God with us, the living true. A whole friend we have in you. You are the living bread. Oh, 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 Jesus, Jesus, that's what we called you. Major bomb and on the tree, you died to save humanity. You are the living bread, Jesus, Jesus, that's what we call you. Jesus, Jesus, oh, 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 you are the living bread, amen. God bless you. People number 127, are you washed? Shall we be on our feet?
Genesis chapter 2, verse 16 to 17. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest eat freely, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Amen. Amen. Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea. Had God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, 
lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your grace that has extended to us one more time. Lord, to be able to come this afternoon, oh God, for this second portion, Lord, to hear more of your word, even as we talk about total redemption through your blood. Lord, we pray that may you come down, Lord, you who inspired the men of old, the prophets of old, to put these things together. I pray that let that same Holy Spirit inspiration come to take these words and break it to our hearts. That, Lord, we may learn of how important to keep your word, how important it is to walk by thy word and never compromise on anything. We thank you. Come and bless us. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Shall be seated. Right now, so once again, God richly bless you. And thank you for staying on. Amen. And coming for the afternoon service. We thank God for these times. Hallelujah, that we can get away from our work. Hallelujah, and leave everything behind. And come and serve the one true God. Yes, come and serve the one true God. Not a second person. Yeah, money not a third person, but to be here to serve the one true God. Hallelujah. So we want to continue from where we left off this morning. This morning we are looking at, hallelujah, what man lost. As we talk about total redemption, as we look at how God is buying back. But like we said in the morning, we ought to know what was lost so that we can know when it has been brought back. When the price has been paid and brought back. So we saw what God did for man at the beginning. What a wonderful thought the Bible is full of. To so think that he, he made us to be masters, hallelujah, of every circumstance. To think that he made us to be in supreme control. To subdue and to have dominion. What a great God he is. Amen. So that is what God made us. And that is what he is bringing us back to. Nothing less than what it was at the beginning. He's not buying a substandard person that he made at the beginning. But what he's buying, hallelujah, what he's bringing back is what was lost at the beginning. And so this afternoon, having made all of that, we want to focus on how did man lose it all. How did man lose it all? Because if in his grace, if in his grace, if in his mercy, that even though man has lost it all, he decided to buy and bring it back, then we want to know how the first man lost it. So that when he has bought it back, when he has brought it back, we will be much more careful never to lose it the second time. Because if you lose it the second time, you'll be a very foolish person. You'll be an unwise person. 
having learned from how the first man lost it. And then you tend to lose it out again. God ever saw. So in the beginning, all that God did, that we spoke about in the morning, the prophet said when God has finished all of those, he gave the title deed to all of those to man. And when you talk about the title deed, it's a document that shows ownership. Not only shows the ownership, but the rights and obligations that go with that ownership. Hallelujah. Amen. Something that transfers the ownership. It transfers the ownership from one person to the other. So you buy a car. It belongs to somebody. You go to DVLA. They've got the got a form on it. And then you, you sign the transfer form. And it goes to another person. And when it goes to that other person, he has paid for it, he now has the title deed to the car. The one that sold it has no more ownership of that vehicle. Because the title deed has been transferred. So it's a document that shows ownership. Not only the ownership, but the rights, the responsibilities, the obligations that goes with the ownership. So after creation, God handed over the title deed to his first The right of ownership was given to man. And that is why man was God of this earth. That is why man has supreme control over this earth. And not only did God give it to man, but he gave him how he can protect what he has given him. Praise the Lord. Amen. He did not only give man the title. But he gave him also the means of protecting what he has committed to his church. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. It wasn't that God gave it to him. And then forgot about him. And how he takes care of it is his own business. But having been given it to him, that Adam, you are God of this earth. Adam, you are going to take charge of everything here. Adam, not if you are the name of the Lord. Amen. God gave him how he can protect what he has given him. In the message, a trumpet sounds an uncertain sound. The prophet said in paragraph 119, you know we always have to improve. The old planes we used to we used back then in the first world war. The second world war why the little lockers in the air was all together out. When they put up these nice big super planes they had. So the, the ones in the first world no, no, war was no, no, And now the ones that they just used in the last war. Now they are obsolete. They don't need them anymore. They have got jets now. And see, you are always trying to improve. To improve on the thing for defense. 
Because man thinks that his kingdom is in this world. They are always trying to improve on their defenses. Every nation wants to outdo the other one. That God the latest weapon. That God the, the steel, is it the steel bomber? That cannot be detected by the radar. Something that can carry maybe more missiles. And so man is always trying to improve. But God is always trying to improve. But you know what? God don't have to improve. God God gave his children, his soldiers, the very best thing that he could be giving them. When he gave them, what did he give them? He gave them his word at the garden of Eden. A man was fortified behind the word of God. And no devil can get him. Stay in the word. Hallelujah. So when God has given everything to them, he gave him his word. You can eat of every tree in the garden. But the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Oh, hallelujah. Thou mayest not eat thereof. Because the day you eat, you shall surely die. You shall surely die. Adam may not even have known what death means. Because he was made in the image of God. And so God said you will die. Oh, hallelujah. He didn't even bother what is death at all. God didn't want to explain to you that you cease to exist. All God told you that the day you break that word, look at all the trees in the garden. You Every tree, of but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day thou eatest, thou shalt surely die. So he gave him his word. All man has got to do was to believe that word. So it doesn't matter who came to him. It doesn't matter who approached him. And so let's go and take of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. All he got to say is written. The day that I eat that tree, the day that I eat that tree, it is written. I will surely die. The one that placed me here. The one that created all of this. That has put me in charge. That is his word to me. I don't need to understand it. He didn't have to give me any reason. But all I got to do is to believe that word. And that is all we got to do, church. Is to believe the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. In the message, the seed of discrepancy. In paragraph 27, the prophet said, But we find out, God gave his children his word for their defense. We have no other defense than the word of God. That is our defense. We have no other defense than the word of God. So he gave Adam and Eve his word for their defense. And he demonstrated it himself when he came down on earth. As long as you stay with that word, as long as you are fortified within that word, the devil will be no match for you. Can somebody say amen? 
Amen. As long as we are fortified with that word, the devil will be no match for any believer. So he gave them his word. And as long as they kept that word, oh, they had a wonderful time in the Garden of Eden. They had a glorious time in the, in the Garden of Eden. So we have no other defense than the word of God. That is our defense. There is no bombs. No, no shelters. No hiding places. No Arizona or California. Arizona, California. Wherever it is, there's only one defense we have, and that is the way. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the only defense we have. And that is the same time. That is what people have against us. And people that, oh, we are so dogmatic. Oh, hallelujah. You can take anything you want to take. But don't take the word away from See, me. So as long as they had the word, it, it was like a big buffer. Oh, like they built the, 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 the defense. So when the word comes, they just hit the defense. And then they go back. Hallelujah. So God gave them his word. Adam and Eve his word. To be their defense. To protect them. And protect what he God has given them. And protect all that God has made for them. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. In the message, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. 52, 10, 27, the prophet said, Now remember this, and I make this quotation, the word of God will defeat Satan anywhere, anytime, any place, on any condition. Word of God. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was of God. And the Word was God. God is His own Word. He has already demonstrated it. Because up in heaven, when the devil tried to raise himself above the throne of God, tried to be like God, God defeated him dead. And he cast him down. So there have already been a battle up there. And God has already defeated him. He defeated him by the way. And so the prophet is saying, because the word is God himself, and God has already defeated the enemy, the word of God would defeat Satan in the way. Oh, hallelujah. Any time, any place, in the place if I, on any condition, yes, the word of God alone, it is written, would defeat Satan, no matter who he is, what forms he comes in, where he is at. It will defeat Satan. Hallelujah. Amen. The, that is the truth. The written word. Hallelujah. That is the truth. The written word. And so to be able to destroy them. When people go to war. The way they know they can win the war. But no, 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 the Russian fighters and make and all of those things. And Israel said we have to do a preemptive strike. 
So what did they go do? They went and they bombed all the runway. No, no, they just any plane. I told you, I call it. I'm a good officer. I'm a good officer. I'm a good officer. I'm a good officer. Baby, I'm a good officer. That's where the plane is going to fly. I'm a good officer. Your plane, you're going to fly. And after that, they destroy all the plane. I can't do that. I can't. I'm a fighter. So what they can use to defend themselves? No, no, no. I mean, you never. Which was the fighter plane? They were all destroyed. And so, in no time, that tiny nation had all the Arabs on the back foot. Praise the Lord. And so, God gave us His way. And that is why he gave them in, in, in Genesis chapter 2. Hallelujah. But in Genesis chapter 3. Hallelujah. Look, church of the living God. Don't try to reason the word. Don't try to figure out the word. He has given us the word to believe. Praise the Lord. So in Genesis chapter 3. The serpent was more subtle. Genesis chapter ten. I can't. She no. Aye ten. The serpent was more subtle. Aye ten ojukba. He was not an idiot. He was not an idiot. He was not an idiot. He was subtle. He was a slick fellow. And so when the woman was by herself, when Adam was not around, she came to the woman and said, Have you seen? And that is always the tactic of the enemy to sow a seed of doubt. Hallelujah, because if you can doubt your defense, if you can get you to believe that your defense is no good, then you try to look for another. But who can give you the best defense that God? The Creator, the one that knows the end from the beginning, the one that knows everything else, the one that said that if the enemy comes in like a flood, he will raise up a standard against the enemy. The one that knows all things. So he tried to sow a doubt. Has God said, You shall not eat of the tree of the fruit of every in the garden? Oh, he tried to engage her in a conversation. I told that they can reason together. Don't reason out the word of God. That people often say, when he said God has sent a prophet and we got a true message so are you telling me that all the denominations all these people that they are all lost as a human being as a human being that has got an empathy as a human being that has got an empathy you begin to raise it with I mean, how can a good God make a hellfire and throw people there? So it is only it's only a, it's a figurative love. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. They try to raise it out. I'm enjoying your boy. So are you telling me that the only true baptism is that we have this mess in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? But I have been baptized. I was even what the way Jesus said. Go into all the world. And as many as believe and they repent, baptize them. We are using the exact words Jesus said. In the name of the Father, Father, and of the Son, Kebile, and of the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Amen. Lord. Amen.
The key he was to get her to raise him. No, 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 if God is to a refuge, I go. Hey, Kela, I'm back. But we are not to reason the way. I said, We are not to reason the way. And that is why, hallelujah, by the grace of God, when it comes to preaching this message, we don't have any ifs and no buts. But this is what the prophet said. If the word of God said, under no circumstance, if the prophet said, under no circumstance, oh, don't come and tell me there are no sisters in the church. Or the sisters in the church. Because you have maybe, I'll bring her to church. Yeah, if you believe this way, I believe you are like God told them, you are going to the land of Canaan, but don't take their daughter to your sons, and don't let your sons go there and marry. It may be so pleasing to the eye, but if it's contrary to the word of God, just stay away from the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So she threw a question to the woman. Has God said that you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the servant, We may eat of the fruit of all the trees. Uh, the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it. And then she added his own part. Neither shall you touch it. Hallelujah. Amen. So once he got to reason it, God said, don't eat. He didn't give them any reason. He just gave them his way. And God has given us his way. And all he expects us to do is to believe that way. But when she is responding, of the tree of the fruit which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, ye shall not eat of it. Nowhere did God say that if you touch it, you also die. All God said is that, look, you shall not eat of it. But now because he has got her to reason he also started, she started injecting something. No, like and when the devil saw, oh, oh, that I can raise it with her. Oh, Hallelujah. She is not just lifting up the buffer. It, it is written. It is written. It is written. But because the devil saw he can raise it with her, See, he, the devil said, Oh, you shall not surely die. It was just a little N-O-T word. God said, you shall surely die. But the devil said, you shall not surely die. Now let me tell you the reason why God says so. For God does know that in the day that you eat of it, your eyes shall be open. Beginning to raise it. Beginning to appeal to his reason. I, I want you to know, know why you can do that. God didn't tell you why you cannot oh, do that. Hallelujah. hallelujah. God didn't explain it. But I have got a better explanation. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And when she fell for it, her defenses were being let down. And I tell you, I think that, oh, the preachers, we are so something. Because we look back at what happened in Eden. Oh, hallelujah. We look back at what happened in Eden. 
If the church is today, if the church is today, we will look back to it. Praise the Lord. Amen. People think that, oh, you mean all these churches? All these denominations. They are lost. How can you say that? Hallelujah. They go look at how 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 they striving to serve the Lord. Jesus told them. Yes, Christ, you worship, you don't even know what you worship. But we can say by the grace of God, we worship, God, we worship and we know what we worship. Because because the word has been revealed to the bride. Hallelujah. Amen. And Satan being clever, he knew you can get God's children to disbelieve his word. Then he can disarm their defense. And he takes you away from the word. He takes you away from the word by presenting to you the word of wisdom rather than the word word of faith. Wisdom to reason. Rather than the word of faith to believe the word. And that is what we saw in the Garden of Eden. Presented reason. Presented wisdom to You shall be wise. Oh, it appealed to her. No, it appealed to her. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, really, I'll be wise. I will be like God. But they were already like God. They were already like God. Because God has made them in his own image. It wasn't what they had to do to be like God. Because they were already made in the image of God. And son of God, daughter of God, you are already in the image of God. All that God has, you already possess it. You already have. Like the prophet will say, look at this massive ocean. If you go and take a cup of the ocean, all the chemicals in that cup, I say chemicals that are in this massive body of water. So there is no distinction between the little ocean water you have in a cup. Yeah, it not your cup It's not all the ingredients this large body has. The only difference. Is this one is with a measure and that one is without measure. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. And so that is all the devil does. No, to present you with reason. Let me read this from the uh, message Wisdom versus Faith. 620401. Wisdom versus Faith. In paragraph 92. Now God is the author of faith. Satan is the author of wisdom. For God gave his first children, his first children, his word. And told them they must believe. A death, separation, punishment, if they fail to believe. So he gave them his word. And all they got to do is to believe. Like you tell people. Oh, the Bible says. Repent every one of you. And be baptized in the name. The Lord Lord Jesus. Jesus. And then Satan will come around. And he said, What about the thief on the cross? Oh, he wasn't baptized. 
and you say that I, I need to be, be repent and be baptized. But the thief on the cross wasn't See? baptized. They to recognize that Jesus gave the command after Calvary. If I'm a, if and not Calvary before say, Calvary. He, he gave Calvary the back. command after Calvary. He and that way he was on the cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What happened to Joseph in, in a shadow? Between the butler and the baker. One was saved, one was lost. God was now unfolding it in reality. So the devil will give you all kinds of reasons. Oh, you tell somebody women shouldn't preach. Yeah, I can see the my brother that I'm Was it not the women that yeah, went to the same? Yeah, yeah, what about the woman of Samaria? He, he, Samaria, you are went to Samaria telling the people. What is she? A cool lady, Samaria, I can't make all that I have. Never, never come, never came in on the final fee. They will give you one and oh, 101 reasons. I'm a bathroom, a bathroom, my labor, but I'm getting that in the stand of the devil. But it doesn't matter how many times you say it. All you've got to go go is go back to it is written. The one who said we mentioned the preach. He said that the one who wrote, the apostle Paul who wrote it, he said if any angel come from heaven, if any other angel come and preach, any other gospel, let him be a curse. Oh, Paul was a woman hater. Oh, he didn't like the women. That is why he gave all of that. But Paul also said, it wasn't the man that was deceived. It was the woman that was deceived. It was the woman who didn't know how to handle the way. And it's still the church that doesn't know how to handle the way. They will come up with raisins. Praise God. Oh, women shouldn't wear trousers. Oh, they'll say that when you travel overseas. Oh, it's so cold. Ah, give you one and one raisins. But we have still got sisters there. See, yeah, 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 yeah. Dress like ladies. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Wisdom versus faith. Nili. So yeah. in the garden of Eden, that is what the devil does. Well, yeah. Eden, true, he he present wisdom. Well, okay. Wisdom with reasoning. <laughs> and once you just give it in to it, <laughs> He begins to knock your defenses. He begins to knock your defenses. Oh, hallelujah. Paragraph 93. Satan comes around and tries to offer to Eve wisdom. You will be wise. Knowing right from wrong by God. Now, see, to start with, no. You see right quick that wisdom comes from the devil. Hallelujah. Wisdom comes from the devil. He's the author of it. Wisdom. Paragraph 99. Now what is it? The wisdom we are talking about. The wisdom that comes from the devil. Something that will not agree that all oh, this word is the truth. Satan could quote part of the word. As God said. So he knew a portion of it. That you shall surely not. Hallelujah. But then he injected his reason into it. Praise the Lord. He injected reason into 
And that is what we ought to be careful. That when he has brought it back, when he has paid the price of redemption, he has restored the original way. And that no circumstance. And that is why this message can never be denominated. I say that is why this message can never be denominated. When you have tried to denominate it, see the God just moves on. Yes, hallelujah, the seed of God just moves on. Because the seed of God in this day knows that we cannot compromise on it. We cannot resume the way. Hallelujah. Amen. So wisdom that comes from the devil is something that will not agree that all the word is the truth. It's something that will take away from the truth expressing itself as a higher knowledge. More wisdom. And if wisdom of that sort comes from Satan, his children live by that wisdom. Wisdom has reasoning, paragraph 101. Wisdom has reasoning. Hallelujah. Faith has no reasoning. But wisdom has reasoning. And so when the devil approached Eve, he got her to reason with him. His defenses, her defenses was broken. Satan got him to come from behind the word. Hallelujah. She stepped outside the way. And once you go beyond the boundary of the way, remember you are exposed. And that is what happened. Hallelujah. The wall of God's word was broken. That is precisely what the devil did. Like we read in the message, the masterpiece this morning. In paragraph 55. Say, now notice this. Come on, eh? Satan got a hold of it. Abosan the deceiver like broke through the walls ni and marred the masterpiece. Ni and how did he do it? Hallelujah. How did he do it? And that is what we are just reading in Genesis. He presented wisdom to her. We are not to come to reason about God's way. But we are to believe God by faith. We are to accept the word of God by faith. We don't need nobody to explain to us. You don't need me to present you some reasoning. If the Bible said, the woman shall not wear that which pertained unto a man. You are to accept the word of God. That is exactly what it says. Praise the name of the Lord. But look at the world that we live in today. And the world is constantly facing, hallelujah. It's constantly facing this defeat. Look at all the reasoning going on. Like recently when the vice president of the United States came in here. in America. And people were asking questions at the press conference about homosexuality and all of those things. She oh, she's a human rights lawyer. She has always advocated for the human rights. She believes in the human rights of people. 
But the Bible says in the beginning, God made Adam and Eve. And so shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife. Male and female created he in them. That is the word of God. But today somebody will stand up. And so I feel like I am a woman trapped in a man's body. Nonsense. Oh, I, I am a man trapped in a woman's body. And so they'll give them, so we have to give them therapy. And all through, uh, gender changes. But pastor, like pastor often says, when the nurse comes, when the nurse comes, he tells you, oh, it's a boy. Oh, it's a girl. They never say it's a transgender. But that is where the world has got into today. Because of the wisdom that man has fallen for, the wisdom of the devil. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. In the message, the greatest battle ever fought. He says, but give God's word the first place. Hallelujah. The prophet said, this is coming fresh. A man cannot sin. Until first he cast aside the word of God. He can't even sin. He does disbelief. Until first he gets rid of the word of God. He gets rid of the presence of God. Until he does that, he cannot sin. And if he could not sin, until she laid aside God's word. Opening up her channel of reasons through. And so, to begin to reason. She disbelieved God's word. Paragraph 121. And if one little iota of God's word was disbelieved. And it caused all this trouble. And it caused all this trouble. If one little iota of God's word was disbelieved, and it has caused all this trouble in the world today, how are we going to get back? Disbelieving the word. You can't do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So how did they lose it? They lost it. Hallelujah. When they opened up to reasoning. When she accepted the devil's reasoning. When she accepted the wisdom of the devil. He thought that, oh, that made real sense. Can we sit down and talk about it? Like I always give my testimony. When the Lord led me to this message. And being the leader of the scripture union in my school. And school reopened and we went back to school. Hallelujah. There was only one person I had told. But before we got okay. to school, the message had already gone there. Oh, the Ajedoku is also now a Brahmite. And so I all the patrons of the scripture union. And we sat down and we talked. And they read so many scriptures. Trying to prove me that the tree of knowledge, good and evil, was a tree like every other tree. And so they read the scriptures. You see, the Bible says, out of the ground grew every tree. 
trying to prove, disprove serpency. Ni ame mi ame yako, abe to be yako. Neke she no. And look at all these wonderful women preachers. Ni opa neke ye. How can you believe sure. something that women shouldn't preach? And, and they said a whole lot of things. And truly I was confused. I couldn't give an answer to that. Because they were smarter than I was. They could take the Bible and prove it to me. Oh, but thanks to God. God. When a revelation strikes you, I say when a revelation strikes you, you, you don't care what any other reason anybody can give. They said so many things. And I got confused. And so finally they asked me, so what do you think? Hallelujah. Amen. That was Mr. Blake and Mr. T.K. Mensa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Blake and T.K. Mensa. I say, sir, what you have said. You can't, it sounds so reasonable. And I cannot argue with it. It sounds so reasonable. And I cannot argue with you. Because you are reading out of the Bible. Even Satan read out of the Bible. Psalm 91 verse 11. Psalm 91 verse 11. Hallelujah. This is what Satan read. When he told, yeah. he told Jesus to the yeah. top of the pillar. Yeah. Hallelujah. And told him that cast yourself down. Okay. Satan told Jesus. He shall give his angels charge over thee. To keep thee in all thy ways. Verse 12. Hallelujah. They shall bear thee up in their hands. Lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Satan quoted this to Jesus in Matthew chapter 4. So go and stand on top of the on top of the the, the, the temple. And throw yourself there. Because they shall bear thee in their hands. And the prophet said, you can either misplace the word, misquote the word, or dislocate the word. And that was what the devil was doing. But because Jesus was the word, he said, Satan, it is also written, Hallelujah, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Because he faced him with the way. So I said, says all that you have said is very reasonable. But something has entered into my heart. Something has entered into my soul. That one you have never touched it. And I don't think you can ever touch it. Because I have read Malachi chapter 4. Which says that, hallelujah, I will send you Elijah Elijah And I had read God in Lise's book. William Bram, a man sent from God. And how in 1933, the angel of the Lord came, the, hallelujah, the pillar of fire came from the skies. And said to the prophet, John the Baptist was sent for Ram my first So I used to send a message to for Ram my second coming. That sounds like a lead sinks in water. That's the way it sunk in my soul. And when God gives you revelation, so I, couldn't, I, I told him I can't argue with you. That what you have said is so reasonable. But this revelation that William Bram, the prophet of Malachi, that one you have never told me. You can never take it away from you. Give me five minutes, I'll close. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You have never touched it. Praise the Lord. And if William Bram 
is a prophet like Moses. Which I believe he is. If William Abraham is a prophet like Isaiah. Because prior to that, I have not read anywhere. I have not read anywhere where a man can say God says the Lord. Apart from the scriptures, the first time I was seen in other message books, where a man was saying, Thus says the Lord. And it sounded so melodious in my heart. So I didn't try to raise it with them. But all I said, is I cannot explain or give an answer to you. Okay. Yeah. But if William Bram is a prophet like Moses, a prophet like Jeremiah, Jeremiah, a prophet like Isaiah, Isaiah, and they were never wrong. When it comes to the word, Isaiah was never wrong. Isaac was never wrong. Zachariah was never wrong. They all had the say as the Lord. I cannot answer you. Sir, but if William Bram is a prophet, he is like one of those prophets. If he says it was a serpency, I can't explain it. But I believe it. If it's that we mentioned in preach, I can't explain it, but I believe it. And that is where as believers, that is where we ought to get to. God has restored his word to us. And today there are so many denominations because they have a lot of reasoning. To creep into the church. To creep into the world. But when he paid for our redemption, he brought back the original word. He has brought back the original word. And we are not going to allow reasoning. We are not going to allow wisdom. We are not going to allow any man may creep. Because that is how we will lose it again. But we don't want to lose it again. God help us all. Amen. He gave them what he gave them at the beginning. But they lost it because they reasoned with the way. God help each and every one of us so that we don't reason with the way. But we just believe the word. Just as God has given it to us and just as God has brought it to us. God bless these few words to our hearts. Amen. Shall we rise to our feet? The original words, the original seed, the original word oh, is what I believe. The Son of Man is revealed, the service is of Original life, the original seed, the original life, the original life, oh yes, the original seed, the original word. We live in a scientific age. Where science is trying to explain everything around us. And so it is if the prophet preach 
wisdom versus faith. It is so much in this our day. Oh, people will come to you. How can you say the word God created the world in six days? When this archaeological discovery shows that it was maybe 10 million years old. So how can you say God created the world in six days? The age we live in is so scientific. God is battling faith in the word of God. And so many children of God are losing out. Are departing from the faith. Because they are giving him to seducing his son of the devil. So as he close, we all want to pray. That that Lord, Lord, it so doesn't matter the wisdom in the world. It doesn't matter the increase in knowledge in Lord, the world. Lord, I'm just asking your grace. Give me grace more of faith. Not to question your way. But to believe your way. To receive your way. To recognize it is your way. That I can act on the way. And receive the same results. That the early disciples received. Shall we all talk to the Lord in prayer? Shall we pray? Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, I want to thank you. Lord Jesus Christ, I want to bless your name. Lord Jesus Christ, I want to praise your holy name. Yes, Lord, you have taught us in your way how Adam and Eve lost it all because they gave heed to reasoning. Heavenly Father, because they opened up to the wisdom of the devil. But Lord, thank you for this revelation in this our day. That Lord, we ought not to give heed to reason and with devil, but Lord, faith to believe your word. Heavenly Father, not to reason with your word, but Lord, to receive your word even as it comes to us, to believe it as it comes to us. Yes, medical science may tell us all sorts, but if your word says that by your strength we are healed, Lord, help us to believe your word. If your word says that you are God that healeth all our sicknesses, Lord, help us to believe that word, receive that word, never to doubt every portion of your word. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, let every human nature in me be crucified, Lord. Let every human element in me be completely die. Lord Jesus Christ, and give me the mind of Christ. Oh, yes, fill me with the mind of Christ. Heavenly Father, to only think about your word, to believe your word that all will fail, but your word will never fail. Yes, Lord, we don't want to repeat that error that they did in the garden, but Lord, to believe your word, to receive your word, never to question it, never to give the devil any chance, Lord. For when you came down yourself, Lord, you never use any of your gifts, but constantly you said it is written. Constantly you said it is written. Constantly you said it is written, oh God. May we get to that place, Lord, where we we'll stand behind your word, that no matter what any man will say, no matter what any organization will say, no matter what any, any individual will say, no matter their stature, may we stand firm and say it is written. That is your word. All will fail, but your word will never fail. We thank you, Lord, and we bless your name. Even in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Lord. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this afternoon service. We want to thank you for the things that you've drawn our minds to. Lord, it costs you so dearly to pay the price of redemption. The agony that you went through on the cross of Calvary. And so, Lord, if you have brought redemption back to us, Lord, you are just telling us how they lost it all in the beginning because they opened up to the wisdom and the reason of the devil. Lord, if your word has been restored to us, 
in this age, the closing moments of time that we are living in. Lord, all we pray is for more of your grace, abundance of your faith and revelation of your word. That no matter the reasonings that the devil will present to us, your, the revelation of your word will always prevail. The revelation of your word will destroy all the works of the enemy. Because you said flesh and blood has not revealed it unto us. But our Father who is in heaven and the gates of hell shall never prevail against it. That is all we are asking you this evening for more of your revelation, more of your faith that we can hold on to the word in regardless of what any wisdom will appear to us, regardless of what any reason will appear to us. Give us the faith to hold on to your word and to hold on to it until the end of the ages. We thank you for your grace that has been shown on us today. We thank you for the services today. Lord, even as we close and we go to our various homes, we pray that may you grant us journey messes. Grant us traveling messes. I pray that may you take each and every one of us safely to our homes. And dear Lord Jesus, may you give us rest in our bodies. May you give us time to be able to rest in our homes. And if there be the rising of the sun tomorrow, Lord, grant a desire in our heart to come back to your house to hear more of your unfailing words of promise that our faith will be strengthened in you because you are the one true God. We thank you this day. We bless your name. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 So God richly bless you. And thank you for making it to the service today. Tomorrow, the services will continue like we've had it today. So come believing. Come prayed up. Come trusting the Lord. That God will to reach out to you. Shake somebody next to you. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister.